Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss. What should RPA developers learn in the field of AI ML? As the world of technology rapidly evolves, it's important for RPA developer to stay ahead of the game, right? Everybody is talking about AI ML these days. But as an RPA developer, which concepts of AI ML you should learn and implement. So AI ML is very vast field. You cannot just go and start it from, from scratch and learn everything in AI ML. So you have to be very specific about which topics you need to pick and how those topics will help you in to enhance your RPA skills and take your bot development or bot solutions to next level. So to begin with, let's explore the essential areas that can greatly benefit RPA developers. The very first topic is machine learning fundamentals. You should gain, gain a solid understanding of supervised and unsupervised learning, regression classification, clustering, right? These concepts form the foundation of machine learning and will empower you to build intelligent RPA solutions. So I've given you the topics. A topic itself is a itself is a very vast concept. Like if you want to learn about regression, it, it itself is a vast concept. So you have to figure it out, right? What exactly regression are, how to apply to the ML models. So you have to take that, like this is a starting point or maybe pointers which I'm giving you. You have to deep dive in each and every topic, right? Next is NLP. NLP is known as natural language processing. NLP enables RPA bot to understand and process unstructured data. It learns uh, techniques such as learn the techniques right when you are learning NLP like sentiment analysis, named entity recognition, text classification, right? This knowledge will help your bots to comprehend and act upon textual information, whatever logs you get right from your bots. So it can it can analyze those. Right? Then next is computer vision. Develop expertise in computer vision techniques such as IR, image recognition, object detection, and image segmentation. This understanding will empower your RPA bots to interact with visual elements in application, like that of which you are using right uh, as a recorder uh, for recording the UI elements. So it will open up a wide range of automation possibilities for legacy applications if you want to do something. So that's where this knowledge will help you. Then you can go ahead with deep learning. Deep learning has uh, many AI applications. It has already revolutionized many AI applications. In deep learning, you have to learn about neural networks, deep neural networks, which are known as CNN, RNN. You might have heard these terms. Then you, ca you can pick up the frameworks like PyTorch or TensorFlow. Deep learning can be particularly useful when complex patterns or representations needs to be learned. Then you can pick data processing and future engineering. This comes uh, like this talks about the ML models. Uh, you need to prepare cleaning and uh, preparing the data for ML models, right? You need to understand how to handle missing data, how to categorize different different variables and from the data point. So this topic will help you to cover uh, from that aspect, right? So I think these pointers should be enough to get started with your journey of AI ML along with your RPA skill. And this is very good opportunity to upskill yourself and to stay relevant in the field. So as for now, you can consider these key areas to focus on. So it's very uh, important to upskill yourself and upskill in the right direction. So if you're already good in RPA, you should focus on learning AI ML. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.